From Augusta, Georgia, by way of Aiken, South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two-time welterweight champion of the world, introducing Paul, the Punisher, Williams. A brawler and the speed, but the speed. And he usually fights the guy who has it coming at you with your oh, ulcer just from the first minute there. Frame, able to carry that weight. He's an amazing looking whips out that jab. It's Rios only landing nine in that first round. Good body shot there. Of the southpaw. Yes. Go, just There's a good left hand from Williams. Or his force onto his right foot, sharing his weight. Oh, good shot there with the uppercut. So Rios is up. But. Williams. Nice right counter from by Williams. Tied up briefly. You that Matisse in the earlier round. In with a big left. I think the 18 punches. That's the highest number in the fight for Williams. One guy getting stronger, going away. And Williams steps back it off. One of the two. Go, go, let him go. The guy at 147, generally not for Ricky Hatton or Oscar De La Hoya or any of the guys at for Paul Williams. Never fought anyone like him. This is a dynamic performance into the big guy. Uh, my boxing people had going into the De La Hoya fight. Yeah. Impressive. Matisse there, stumbles back in the corner. Not going to go. Help him up. There you go. That's how you should stay at the end of your jazz. And that's what he should concentrate on. Keep him at the end of his Part of that business. Right, Matisse. Mitchell not known for being right. Paul Williams is tempted. Oh, big right hand from Williams stuns Mitchell. <laughs> Talking about earlier. Like... Oh, he almost punches alone. Fine, but still fighting. Williams has definitely found his range. Big right hand. That right that hook. Mitchell even got up from it. He's swinging so energetic up to 168. For what? He's excited to watch. No doubt. Just camp a little bit back to the drawing board in terms of defense. Up a body movement wobbles the cow and automatically fast and him to try to stay up and seems to be a matter of time here as the can William simply peppered him to the rib cage rooms isn't truisms in the sport that nobody really seems to want to fight Margarito here's the one guy who says I do showed up in travel here last night took the Brothers fight on fight. less than 20 uh, he would have knocked him out yeah. and vice had his whole upper body yeah he tilts from shoulder to catch his uh, pocket he just hit Pacquiao full on I don't think this is going to go on too much as to adjust to the distance but now now does return barring sessions are more com sometimes the guy comes in, in a situation like this and he isn't even working with his own trainer and his own corner now, this even if at Cortez and asked him to stop it as sometimes star fighters will do and finally finally we get a stoppage regular yeah he snuck a right in the back a power shot oh another season fighting he did it as a welterweight not poor Corey there with a jab and he just oh, eight. Oh, eight. Oh.
Jackson moving around. Leaves himself open when he's coming forward. Side by Martinez. And a left hand shot by Martinez. And now Martinez blocks Williams with a left. And Williams fires back. There's another right hook, and another right hook, and another two right hooks, and another left hand win this fight. Punches like that in the middle of the ring. Pacific across Europe, Asia. That of William. Hey, Ronnie's got some stuff in his stable. Down to 147 to try to fight back. When you do that, Ronnie, you come on, you got to put the jab. It's happening with the control, and he's trying to time. But in the meantime, look one more great to the fight. Williams has lost his balance. Now, when you go out of the ring in the state of California, you got to get back in and then He's getting the fight. Oh, they would. But we're also to see a left hand because it's trying to get the rest to land that shot. He's way inside. What man? Everything is shorter fight. It's going down some. That nobody wants to fight Paul anyway. Now you could kind of expect that. Better. Should be able to hit anybody. And straight down the pipe, bringing himself to the left hand. The kid can. Lyra does. Looks like he's never. Not yet 30. He'll turn 30 later this month. So you saw him take a step back just a little while. Trainer for Lyra, who's not here. And things about Afton's fight. Fight is smart. They're vicious. And comes back even harder. The Punisher. Take a step away from Bobby and should be okay to go. Ishida with a nice, as you mentioned. Remember the mark as Ishida has and he's landing. Very good friend Daisuke. Now Williams comes out pressing. And he That's one of the first rules you learn in Bobby. numbers. Before that, he had been a Ooh, good fighter. fighting very well. A, a rhythm for them. A lot of success for either one of the fighters. They're both trading equally. He's never had that experience. In the ring, you know, I, I have to say if these questions are valid for knocked out in 19. Cut to the solar. Uh, do something. As many punches as he normally is that they're working on the thing. Letting both fighters work. Not only do I want three or four since he's lost. Through that time, Williams, volume punching. Those type of guys that. Ninth round of. What it does is it. it let Night one ten to go in the tenth round. I know you'll f the you know, give it to Williams now. For as we said, and there's some the money down there. There's so many fighters in this division. On set, on set, and uh, hey, he's landing some conditioning problems. Al, no conditioning Absolutely. problems. Absolutely, and let's not do revisionist history.